Hello everyone, hi. Four o'clock, you know not what that means. It's time to get moving, it's time to get fit. Happy Tuesday, is it even Tuesday? Gosh, I don't even know what day it is. Can't keep track of these days anymore. <laughs> Come on in. Come on in everybody. So, I am really, really excited about today's workout. So, it's called Perfect Posture. And the reason I'm super excited about it is because if you know me and you've done my videos, I'm all about form and doing things properly. And so much of that comes from our posture. So it is just incredibly important to understand why good posture matters. So for example, you are working your core when you're standing up straight and your butt is under and everything is in one straight line. You're not working your core when you're here or when you're here. You're working your core when you're holding, having to hold your body upright. So as you know, I am a former ballet dancer, so obviously posture has been hugely important my whole life and has really, you know, traveled with me into my adult life. And I'm really grateful for that because it's really helped to kind of form my opinions of exercises that work. So with that being said, we're going to do a wonderful workout today. We're going to be focusing on our back, our arms, and our core. This is gonna be our foundation for good posture. So when you have a nice tight core, it's easier to support the back, and it's easier to support for the back to support the arms. So that's just a little bit of background and context. A few housekeeping items. Um, so this outfit was sent to me by one of my favorite brands called Lorna Jane. I love Lorna Jane. Look at this cute little like, matching thing. So I just want to say thank you, Lorna Jane. I appreciate you, and thank you for sending this to me. Um, yeah, the way we're going to do today's workout is we're going to do a nice little stretch. I really want to get the chest open, and then we're going to do three circuits two times through. So let's just start. I want to actually do an intention today. I was Sometimes I like doing intentions, and sometimes I don't, and today I actually really want to. So... I was thinking I was upstairs earlier brushing my teeth or something and I thought to myself, wow, a lot of good has actually come from this whole crazy pandemic. Not saying that the coronavirus is a good thing by any means, obviously it's not, but if we can just kind of look at the glass half full instead of half empty and try to see the positives in you know, difficult situations. I think that that is a way that we can define our character and our mentality for the rest of our life because it's in these kind of moments where things aren't super easy that we really step up to the plate and we, we realize who we really are. So all of you should be really, really proud of yourselves if you're doing this workout during this difficult time. It's not easy, it's not the most, you know, most, fun thing to do sometimes, right? To better ourselves, but it's necessary. And so it's really great that you're here and that you're doing this. And so I want you to think about when you're doing this workout to find a positive in the struggle. So if it's your, you know, your, your abs are burning or your arms are burning and it really, really hurts, the positive would be, well, I'm getting stronger. I'm doing something good for myself. So let's just keep that in mind throughout this workout today and let's have fun together. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of a stretch. So I just want us to open the chest a bit. We're breathing nice and deep today. Okay, and then we're gonna cross the left arm over the right. So cross it over, keep the body straight, don't waver, okay? Beautiful, keep that left arm straight. Let's switch the arms. Right arm over left, great. Let's do arm overhead, so left overhead. Pull the elbow so your hand is like this, reaching with your shirt. Let's switch it. 
Beautiful. Try to keep that head up. Okay, and then let's just open the chest. So I want you to clasp your hands behind your back and pull that chest so arms are straight. Pull that chest open. You can reach back if you want. And then let's reach forward. Raise those arms up. Let's do the other side. So interlace the hands and then we just push the chest back. Great. Now let's just circle those arms and the other way. And we're just going to finish again with how we started. Okay? So, beautiful. All right, so that's just a little nice little warm up. We should feel like we have a little more, we're a little more open in the chest and you should feel a little taller. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to sit down and I want to do my favorite posture move first. So if you have weights, we're gonna use them in a second, but for right now, I just really wanna focus on another opener. So legs are outstretched, arms are nice and to the side, and we're just gonna do this move. So we exhale, pulse, center. So pulse, pulse, center. And pulse, pulse, center. So what I want you to feel in this move is the back. Okay, so that back should be working. That back is like as if you want to pull those shoulder blades together, right? And arms are nice and straight. Stomach is in. Make sure you're breathing. So it's exhale, exhale, up. Exhale, exhale, up. If you've been sitting all day working on your computer, this is going to help you feel better. Let's just do two more. Last one. Great. So if you have those weights, I want you to grab them. And then we're going to sit back up tall. So grab your weights. We're going to work with the arms straight out to the side. Okay. So arms are straight out to the side. I just want to move the arms back and center. Back and center. So here, <clears throat> it's really important that we keep the abs in. I don't want to see flail. I want to see controlled. <sighs> controlled. Okay? So keep those arms level. <sighs> Beautiful. You squeeze the back. <sighs> squeeze the back and the abs at the same time. <sighs> Beautiful. Now let's go to the front and center. Front and center to the front and center and center. And center. Let's do another eight. And six. And five. And four. And three. And two. And one. Now we hold it and we pulse. Keep those abs in nice and tight. Legs are straight. And four, three, two, one. Arms come into a first position. So it's like you're holding a beach ball, okay, with those weights. So all I want is a nice slow, don't touch the hands together, leave them open. So I want to twist to the right and twist to the left. Twist to the right and twist to the left. Beautiful. So keeping that stomach nice and tight and that back really long. Try not to arch the back so it's overextended. I just want it like you're sitting in a carp. Exhale. Hup. Exhale. Hup. Now we're going to take it just to one side and pulse. Beautiful. And another count of eight, seven, six, five, we're gonna take it right to the other side. Here we go. One more count of eight. Eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, drop those arms for one second. I want those arms straight out in front of you now. And watch me, I go lower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. This does not have to be a crazy, insane move. 
Just a slide and an up. Slide and an up. Slide and an up. We'll do four more and then we're gonna hold it in the low position. Okay, three, and let's hold it. Here we go, hold, hold it here. Now we're gonna take in that low position, pulse the abs up, down, up, down, up, down. Feel that, five, and six, seven. Can we do another count of eight? Let's go, eight. Seven, six, and five. Hold those arms strong. Four, three, last two. Come on. And one. Let the arms relax. Woo! Yep. That is a fantastic set. You should really feel that in your arms. It's so good for you. All right, if you have your weights, pick them back up. If you don't, no worries. All right, so, sorry, one second. Okay, so what I wanna do now is an oblique crunch. So arms come up and over to your right side, okay? What we're gonna do is we're just gonna crunch the abs to the right. Focus on keeping those abs tight and center the body so it's straight up and down. In four, we go to the other side. Other side, here we go. Switch the weights to your left side, and we bend and bend. Beautiful. In four, four, three, two, and one. Okay, arms come out to the front, and I just want pulse up, down, up, down, up, down. So this is where I want you to think about the core. Okay, so I want you here, nice and up. All that's moving are the arms. Seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, open the arms. We just lift it and we lower it. Lift it and we lower it, feel the back. Feel the back working together. The abs, the back abs, <laughs> they're pulling together, working that back. And three, and two, and one, lower. We're gonna work the triceps. So I want the arms straight back and down, straight back and down. So back and back, okay? Try to keep your body nice and square. Let's do another count of eight. You have eight, seven, six, and five, four, and three, and two. Now we're gonna pulse it out. So pulse it up, up, up. Yup, beautiful. Arms are straight. Two, three, four, five, six. Now I want the pulse, pulse the arms together. So you're trying to touch your, the palms of your heels, the palms of your hands together, and eight. Seven, six, and five. Let's go. Four, three, two, and one. Let it relax. We're going to do a plank series now. So, like I said, core is essential to a good posture. So, meet me in a little bit of a plank. I'll go this way. So, we're going to hold it here. So, meet me in a plank on your palms of your, you know, on your hands. Let's just hold it here. Let's get our posture set. Okay, our butt's down, our butt's not here. Our butt is here. Arms are tight, shoulders push up into the sky. I want you to feel like your back is trying to wrap around your shoulder blades. Now we're gonna do mountain climbers. In three, two, one, let's go. It's tap, 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 tap. Five, six, seven, eight, let's go. Last count of eight, then we're gonna hold it. Four, three, two, hold. Give me 10 jacks. So we go out, out, in, out, in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. All right, 
now we're gonna do, now we're gonna get into a back series. If you have a bad back or you have a history of any injuries with your back, listen to your body. Obviously don't do this if it's gonna hurt you, okay? So I want everyone to lay on their stomachs this time. Okay, so you can put your head on your um, hand for this. So what I want us to start by doing is just first lifting the legs off the floor, okay? So head should be flat. Lifting those legs, let's just hold it. Squeeze the butt, squeeze everything in, okay? And let that go, okay? Now what we're gonna do is lift the, the head and the legs off the floor. So keep your hands where they are, but we just lift the head and the legs, okay? You're gonna start to feel that in your lower back. Beautiful, really, really nice. Let's just hold it up there. Okay, okay, three, two, one. Let it relax. Now we're gonna do the arms, the head, and the legs. So in three, two, one, lift it up. Okay, there you go, now you're feeling it. Now let's see if we can do a little baby pulse of the legs. So pulse, 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 pulse. Eight, seven, six, and five, let's go, four, three, two, and one. Let it relax. Okay, now if you do yoga, this is called a bow. So what I want us to do, I'll demonstrate first, is we take the right ankle with the right hand and the left ankle with the left hand, and we're going to kick into our feet, and we're gonna pull ourselves up, okay? So when you're ready, come on up into that position. So three, two, one. Take it there, but let's rock just a little. Get those hips warmed up. And three, and two, and one. Let it relax. Now the next time we do this, we're gonna hold it. So I want you to grab those feet again. Just go as high as you can. Just go up, just go as high as you can. Let's do knees together. And in three, two, one, lift yourself up and hold. <sighs> Try to stay back on those, on those hips. Really kick into it. Open that back. <sighs> Beautiful. Let's hold for four, three, two, and one. Let it relax. Gorgeous. Let's do a little child's pose just to get out of that. Ooh. Yup. We feel it. All right, come on up. So that we did, that was one time through. So we're gonna do it another time through. If you're feeling any sort of pain, just be careful. So let's get back on the ground. We're gonna do that posture opener, chest opener that I just love so much. All right, so here we go. So. Chest is proud, and we twist, twist, and up. So it's exhale, exhale, up. Exhale, exhale, up. 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 Let's do four more. So here we go, it's four. Last two and one. Okay, gorgeous. Let's grab those little weights. Again, mine are only three pounds. These are three pound weights. It's like nothing. But it is a little something and it just gives us a little bit of resistance. All right, so what I want, arms straight out, we go back and center. Okay, this time through maybe harder. That's cool. Just keep your posture. Stomach is in nice and tight. We go eight. Stop at center. Go four, three. We're gonna take it to the front now, two, and one to the front. We go front, center, center. We're breathing. 
breathing, it's four, and three, and two, here we go, and one, let's pulse it. Pull it back together, let's go, eight, four, three, two, and one. Arms come together in that lovely first position, so elbows are up like you're holding a beach ball, and we twist and center, and we twist, breathing out, so that's an exhale, exhale, and inhale, exhale, and inhale, here we go, we have four, and three, two, and one, can we pulse it to the left? One more count of eight, then we go to the right. Four, three, two, we bring it to the right. Keep the body quiet. This is just about the upper body. Here we go. We have eight, seven, six, and five. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Okay, now we're going to go back to that cool little move where we lift the arms out front and we just lower the stomach, lift it up, lower it, lift it up. Hop. So I want you to focus on coming back to a beautiful seated position. Okay, in two, we're gonna hold it. So we hold it here, we have eight. Now we're gonna take those beautiful little pulses. So up and down, up and down. Reach the weights forward or your hands if you don't have any weights. Beautiful, just reach a little bit, just a little bit. You don't wanna come all the way up to seat it. Last four, here we go. We have four and three. Last two and last one. Lower those arms, give them a shake. A little bit of a breath. Come up to stand. So I want to grab these weights again. Now we're going to do, whew, roll the shoulders back. We're going to do these lovely oblique crunches. Okay, so here we go. So we go to the right. Remember those weights are on your right side of your butt. So they're not in the center, they're to the right. We have another count of eight. Then we go to the left. We have four, three, two, other side. We take it in. Squeeze the abs. Count of eight. Have eight. Beautiful. Okay, arms come forward and baby pulses. Up, down, up, down. We're breathing. Two more counts of eight. Eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, two. Last count of eight. Eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, two, and one. Bring to the side. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Squeeze the back. What's your back doing? Look at mine. I'm squeezing the sides of my back together. Count of eight. Seven. Squeeze it. Come on. You only have four more. Four. Come on, and two, and one. Lower the arms, I want those triceps now. So it's back and straight, back to center. Beautiful, here we go, another count of eight. We have eight, and seven, and six, and five. So in four, we're gonna go into those pulses. So pulse it straight back, hold it out. We go pulse, so just the arms. Okay, that is it. They're reaching behind you. Let's do two more counts of eight here. I'm feeling it. Eight, seven, six, and five. Let's go. Four, three, two. Now, after this last count of eight, we're gonna push the palms together. Three, two, here we go. So together come the palms. Five and six, seven and eight. Chest is proud. Two more counts of eight. You can do it. We have eight. Keep that belly in tight. 
tight, let's count them, eight, let's go. In four, three, in two, and one. That is it for the weights today. Let's get down into that gorgeous plank. Okay, so go down into that beautiful plank. Let's just hold it here. Let's get ourselves nice and settled. Is your butt here? I don't want it there. I want it here. Stomach is in. Shoulders are nice and strong. You should feel on this plank a little steadier than you normally do because you just worked your arms and your abs and your back and this has prepared you for this moment. So let's do those beautiful mountain climbers. In three, two, in one, let's go. Boom, boom. Last kind of eight, eight, seven, six, and five, three, two, hold. Give me 10 jacks, here we go.
to see the glass half full as opposed to seeing it half empty. So that was not an easy workout, right? We had to kind of, you know, have the pros outweigh the cons for actually finishing it and, and doing it and understanding that it was a good thing for us to do for ourselves, for our bodies, for our minds, for everything. So you should be really proud of yourselves. I urge you and challenge you to focus on seeing the glass half full outside of this workout, outside of these 30 minutes. I always try to see the glass half full and I think it makes us happier, healthier people if we do that. So I urge you to try to do that for the rest of today. If you don't already follow me, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's at the link in my bio on my Instagram page. Subscribe, you can check out all my workouts there. And I will be back here tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern time with a fun and new workout. Thank you all so much for joining. I hope you have a wonderful evening and I can't wait to see you manana. Have a great night. Bye.